start this. I'm painting this motherfucking rat. So, uh, if you never, uh... Skeletons? I mean, you said yes to skeletons? Uh, skeletons, I, I assume there's gonna be skeletons. I've never actually and seen any in the, the books yet. Who is the pile of skeletons? Uh, I gave them to... I have burnt most of my pile. I now have townsfolk oh, over here. I've got skeletons over here. Skeletons over there. Ooh, he's kind of culty. Is he cultisty? Yeah, that'll be perfect. Put him in the Justin pile. In the Justin pile. All right, so I'm gonna try to do the opposite of James when he would paint on stream, mm -hmm. yeah. which is go like this and paint, because that's how he paints. <laughs> You're gonna, so paint I'm gonna paint on a camera. On camera. Yeah, well, I what? think that should be a, That's a crazy, thing I should Justin. try out. Then I'm like, I'm really glad you're over there because uh, you could be a cultist too. I'm fully gonna do the I mean, James Paint. He could also be a rogue. So he'd be both in both categories. I can paint him. I'm finding a lot of these. The uh, um, what are those guys? These guys are these are cobots. These uh, are these are gnolls, I guess. All right. These are cool balls. Those are, yeah. Well, fun. See you later. Bye, Megan. Thanks for stopping by. <laughs> I'm betting she has a show starting, like, yeah. right now. now. Yeah. She usually stops um, in on stream during her breaks. Reminds the world of the light that is Megan. Yeah. Before it goes out again. Ooh, another one that could be both a rogue and a cultist. Mike, can you mute me really quick? I gotta go give this one a little, a little bath. Paint not sticking? Yeah, like it, the second I hit it with paint, I was like, oh yeah, she's still covered in mold release. And that could also be culty. <laughs> this paintbrush is not happy right now. Ooh, that one definitely. I mean, also could be a player, but. So the way I plan on painting these minis for everyone watching at home is uh, basically just getting them tabletop ready. They're not gonna be high detail. I'm essentially just gonna do a base, which is what I'm doing right now. Then I'm gonna put a wash on it. And then I'm just gonna do small detail, like the eyes, the teeth, and then he has these pustules on his back, which I think I'm gonna try to get as well. Pustules, the word of yeah. the day is pustules. Yeah, he's a gross little rat. And I'm gonna fuck up and get Ooh, paint in places wizard. I shouldn't, but that's what painting minis is all about. Yeah, I've been reading a lot of like, cause I've just, I've just Townsfolk? started painting. Yeah, throw them over here. I've just started painting minis. And one of the things everyone says is, hey, just make mistakes. And like, don't worry about starting your, uh, your thing over and over and over again. Give me back on, Mike. Just get that fucker done. Yeah. So that's what I'm doing. I'm so gonna make mistakes are, and just get mummies. this fucker done. Yeah, it's like one? painting sets, but just like miniature, Justin. Yeah, no, definitely. These could all be characters. It's also like best cultists. to look at from far away, so. Yeah. It doesn't need to be good, it just needs to get what you want to say across. Another wizard. I got like a bunch of wizards here. <laughs> wow, look at the hat on that guy. This one's, I've never seen this one before. Me either. <laughs> it's like a Gandalf. There's like 400 minis in this box. <laughs> I mean, it's less now, I guess, but at one point there was like 400 Hey, in this that's place. better. My paint sticks now. Here, Kevin. You're painting. <laughs> so why don't we move that? Yeah, probably. That's probably good. Oh, oh yours is out of focus there, Justin. Oh, it's just because you were far away. Yeah. Do you like. No. There we go. There we go. There's some more of those guys. Um, I guess he could, this guy could be a townsfolk. I mean, he's just like a, like, like a hoarder. Like, look at that. <laughs> he just got... Oh, he's a merchant. I can, Mike yeah. prefers the thought of him being a, he's hoarder. a hoarder. There is a lot of these gnomes. I think these are all gnomes. Oh no, some of them clearly have some different faces. Some of them are faces. goblins. Some of them are goblins. These are goblins, I guess. Some of them are those little, like, kind of gnolls, but, like, too small to be gnolls. Yeah. All 
Hey, Mr. Rat, your tail's looking pretty good. You know, like in the opening of uh, 40 Year Old Virgin, when he's talking to his minis, it's like, you're gonna get blue pants today. Ooh. <sighs> That's how I feel about a when blacksmith. You managers? I found when a I blacksmith. Paint, when I paint these minis. All right, that's rat number one done. Let's start working on rat number two. And my favorite part about painting minis on stream now is how everyone can see my gross fingernails. <laughs> okay, there's... Yep, black paint on my teeth. That's cool. <laughs> On your teeth? Well, I was trying to get the animal hair off, but I didn't have. I thought you said anal hair for a second. And I was like, what? nope, nope. There was there was a cat hair on my brush, and it was fucking me up. I um, uh, Eric and I we were gluing uh, Warhammer figures together on Saturday, mm -hmm. and we glued our fingers together a lot. It yeah. was fun. Well, shit happens. Yeah, right. Yeah. It's just the casualties of painting, right? Yeah. Paint your teeth black. Paint, uh, glue your fingers together. Yeah, that's just how it is. All right, make sure we keep this on camera. It's actually also pretty good on left-handed because it's like open to camera. It's nice. On that side, and then Mike on the other side would be open to camera being right-handed. It's true. I, I mean, I'm think. sort of both-handed. I switch back and forth. You paint with your left hand? Sometimes. What the Whatever's fuck? Whatever's easier at the time. Alright, let's kind of just this tail. Sorry, my hand's just in the way. Just gonna try to pull this guy's tail back and get in there. So I might have picked these rats up today because in the first uh, session you guys are going to be fighting rats. So what? You guys have some inside information. A a first role playing session and we're and fighting rats? rats. Who would have thought? That never happened. Never. Bless Dude. you. You said it before I sneezed. Well, I it's saw like you wind really up for it. All right. Well. Okay. I think I found all the ones that are sort of to culty? Do this thing. Cool. So I think really we might... a lot of them are really could be both culty or or player. <laughs> yeah. So. So I think what my brain also wants to do for the people sitting at home watching is I think I might also get this guy. These guys pause with some uh, of this light brown as well. So um, Julie and I had a mouse in our house. Yeah. And our landlady upstairs gave us some mouse traps so okay. we could catch it. And how did Julie feel about killing a mouse? Oh, you know, it's the reality of life sometimes. Right. You just got to do it. Um, and uh, we, uh, a few nights ago, two nights ago rather, I was like, man, I smell something weird. Dead mouse? Yeah. yeah. At the time I was just like, is this me? Does my butt just smell or something? <laughs> um... And then it gets worse, and then you're like, nope. Then the next day, we were all sitting on the couch, James and Elvin came over, and we were watching uh, shitty movies together. And uh, James is like, Julie was like, James, you smell like a fucking old car. And James is like, I don't think that's me, because I thought it was you. <laughs> and then Elvin was like, maybe you guys have a dead mouse. And Julie and I were both like, oh, oh my god, that's it, Elvin. So we move our couch. Motherfucker died under the couch. Nice. Not even in a trap. Well, because it was one of those traps where they eat the food and then uh, it kills them. Oh, those are stupid, yeah. It's fucking I mean, like, it's one of the best, uh, best, uh, most successful mouse traps I've ever had in my life. We put it out and then the dude's dead like two days later. Oh, the best ones I've ever had are the normal ones with peanut butter in them. Yeah. And the rats in my parents' house would all, I mean, the, not, not the rats, we live in fucking Alberta. The mice in my parents' house would always, um, be able to eat the peanut butter without uh, triggering the trap. Really, They're fucking that's, magicians. That's magician, because like peanut butter is the only thing successful I've seen, because like cheese, they can just take it off, and it'll snap, but they yeah. won't be in it. Let's try this brush instead. I think that does what I want it to. There's still mold release back here. Yep. Well, I'm glad. What are you painting, Mike? Uh, one of the culty guys, looking guys. If you can paint them in yellow, 
Can I we have black cape with yellow stripes in it? Yes, as long as there's some yellow on them, they'll look really good for our session. Sounds good. Yellow because we is. might not be all about Haster, or it might, so... <laughs> I'm not saying it is, but I'm not yeah, saying. I'm not saying, I'm not it saying it's the king in yellow, but can you paint them yellow? Yeah, it's the yellow <laughs> might be a major motif throughout this whole session. All good. Okay. I can do yellow. Let's get this fucker's ears. All right, we're gonna do some touch-ups on this guy as well. The the reason I don't uh, the ones that that poisons them. I mean, it's, you, down in the basements, you're probably a little less likely, but if uh, if the rat or, or if the mouse eats the, the the poison and then gets eaten by a dog or a cat... Yeah, yeah that makes sense. You can you can kill your, your pets that way. <laughs> hey, yeah. two, two birds with one stone, right? Yeah. You don't really go, like, poison traps with other animals in your house. Yeah. But, you know... It's really funny. We had the poison traps... Our landlady gave it to us, and then a few days later, I was like, Julie, we're leaving the poison traps right where we keep all our food. <laughs> Just on the fucking counter. And I was like, okay, let's move this. But as you can see, we're still here, so. For now. For now. Yeah. Rat poison's slow. <laughs> it's like all those, like, spinster ladies who, uh, who killed their husbands. Are you saying Julie's trying to kill me? Maybe. Actually, I if, I, if I'm not mistaken, rat po or mouse poison takes... A fuck ton of it to kill a human. I would yes, imagine. Yes, that makes sense. Well, it's a good thing I paint in layers, because holy moly am I making a mess. Alright, now we're just going to do some touch-ups. On this motherfucker's butt. Because his butt wasn't fully based. I'm not saying I definitely need new glasses, but... I mean, painting minis is the best way to find out how your eyesight is. But it concerns me that I'm having a hard time with, like, things close up, because I'm, uh, nearsighted. Mm. So, I'm too young for bifocals. What a nappy applaud to us. Fuck that shit. The new bifocals are actually quite good. Yeah, except for lenses. Yeah, but like, then you still like feel like a weirdo when you're walking around and like everything below you is like really, really magnified, and everything over there is. My mom had her transition. She's like, I can't walk downstairs. I'm like, I'm sorry. Rat's looking pretty sick. Sick rat. I love the progress of painting minis. Because when I started these fuckers over here, I was like, they good look God, so good. They, look, they look awful. And then, you know, when you're all done, you're like, oh, wow, they're actually What are those for? Those... The others. Yeah. Have them here because I'm going to varnish them because they're all done, so. So neat. Okay, uh, you can get a little touch of right here on your tail. I see you. Mistake Justin made. Are we in board games or creative? We are in creative. Sweet. Ah, use that on a bitch. Oh, fuck it. That's why I painted layers. That's what dry brushing is for later. Imagine I'm making very attractive faces right now while I'm doing this. <laughs> As I was setting up the cameras, I was very conscious of being like, okay, so we can't be, we can't, if Caitlin's coming, we can't just become like a cleavage stream. But I see you're wearing a scarf, scarf with that intention. I was like, she also probably thought that exact same thing. Well, this is what I was wearing this morning. Mm. It made me laugh the other day, and I didn't want to, like, mention it on stream, but uh, when you guys were playing, I think, Werewords or something, yeah. 
Julie needs to wear a different tank top. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, dude, I can see your belly button. <laughs> Can't even tell. Can't even tell. I, I can't even tell, it. Justin. Can't even tell. I fucked it up. All right. Well, now these rails need to dry. So if you do something that's a half inch tall. Yep. You fucked up, really? Yeah. All right, buddy. I'm a big fan of giving my miniatures like super smoky eyeshadow and being like, there, they're just badass. <laughs> yep. Uh, my my theory for faces is if they're human, just give them. Just wash them. What paint do you use? I am using uh, Vallejo paints. That's what I'm using on my side. The game color, these guys. And we are using the Reaper Minis stuff. This shit is so old. It's when yeah, they first came out with their- um... The Reaper Mini stuff. And I mean, we also have some- Citadel. Citadel yeah. paints as yeah, well. But I'm using Vallejo on the one on camera because they're they're cheap and plentiful. These ones these ones are actually not too bad too. The, the Reaper Mini ones. I like them. They were like, I think, I mean, I bought these with this Kickstarter. This was Bones 1. And with the Kickstarter, I think these ended up being like like 20 cents a pot. <laughs> these miniatures are older than our relationship? No. Uh, you ordered them before we were yeah, dating. Yeah, I think so. Because I would have judged you for spending this much money on I miniatures. How much were, what were they? I think the total Kickstarter was three hundred and sixty dollars. Oh, that's not that bad. It's no. less than a dollar a mini plus all the paint. Oh, the paint was included too? Paint was in there. That's the case sick. was in there. Mm -hmm. Both dra all all of all the, the dragons, dragons, which I got double of because I also sold a set to Lee. Nice. Oh, did you actually get rid of that double set? Finally? Did we find anything that was like could resemble a ghoul? What kind uh, of ghouls? I mean like that's more, yeah. I mean, ghouls these... Ghouls are tough. Like, ghouls are, like... These are really ghoulish. Yeah. I mean, these guys are kind of ghoulish, too, but they have, like, swords and stuff. Yeah. That guy's super ghouly. He is. Um, like, zombie ones. I mean, yeah, it's like kind of like a zombie, I mean, but with claws. Like, zombicide. I mean, this is actually something I was also thinking for the ghoul. That could work. Oh, this one's a sweet one. All right, motherfucker. You're number two. I mean, ghoul. Green, right? What color should I paint him, Mike? Should I do green? I also do this fucking gross dead flesh. I think you should do like a red base and then start doing the green rotten fr like the green flesh on top. So then like the red yeah, filter maybe. Christmas tree. Oh, I, I guess. I mean, if you if it's really dark red, like. Man, this guy's fucking jacked. He's jacked. He's the Hulk. But look at these. This is how some of our labels came. Amazing. They didn't fade over time. No. Okay. They pin they printed them fast. They. they yeah. I mean, there was a lot going out. Peacock at the time, green. So I, like this. I love this color. That'll work. Whoa, nice try, paint. Nope. Now we have to play some sort of game as we paint. <laughs> like, not wear words, but like, would you rather? Would you rather play wear words right now or One Night Ultimate Werewolf? Mm, with three people? One night. One night. Three people. Yeah. Uh, I think wear words works better with three people. You think? No, but I liked, I liked it so much when we had the five of us. Yeah, it was pretty good. Because then you get a little... I haven't played it with like a large number <laughs> yet. I think my... I think your yellow's fucked. I think my yellow's fucked. Do you need the yellow? Oh, uh, no, I got, I, got, I got other yellows. Sure, sure. Neon yellow. Is that the color you want? You want neon as There's their, their colors? There's a couple of yellows over here, too, Mike. No, There's a sun I yellow. Got, yeah, I know. I got sun yellow in... New gold. Oh. The Walmart paint. Walmart paint. All right. Gross, buddy. You look gross in this color. It's nice. You can tip this... 
camera over towards you, Mike, if you want. It's not getting any of me over here. Sure. I have to... Do to put it in focus when you get a chance to adjust it? Nah. Nah. Uh, can you tell me when it lights up? No, that's this one over here. I see it blinking. That one's yeah, you. That's that one's it. That looks like it's in focus. Yeah, close enough. Yeah, sure. Just remember that that's in the camera view. Gooly, gross Greg. That's what this guy's new name is. Greg? Gooly, yeah, Gooly, gross Greg. So today Julie was like, I'm gonna come for stream. And then she and then, then my sister was like, hey, Julie, what are you doing tonight? And my sister said, I'm streaming. And I said, Julie, go out with my sister. <laughs> You're done school, go have fun. And it's good in retrospect. Yeah. I think Julie would be good at painting, too. I was going to say, we could have taught her how to paint miniatures. I think she would have had fun. She wants to. And now that I have my junk, she could learn pretty easily. Oh, sorry, buddy. Didn't mean to do your face again. Hope you forgive me. Like I said, I talked to them. I've noticed. Also, being on stream kind of also makes me want to talk. Yeah, I mean, we're on stream. We gotta, we gotta... We gotta be entertaining. Yeah. Us staring at little tiny things in front of us is... It's all right. Yeah. Oh, come on. Okay. No, oh, this guy's just fucking... He's like a corpse. It's great. <laughs> He's like a zombicide. He cool. is, yeah. <laughs> It's been a couple of years since I've painted, and of course I picked this like super detailed fucking <laughs> player character to do first. And you can have one of these cultists after. Or a skeleton, they're just fucking white. Yeah. <laughs> just dirty them up a little bit. Cool, I'm done. <laughs> base them white, or base them black. Highlight them white, boom. Skeleton. Done. That's like my slight fear. And how's the painting going? It's going good, I Dragon. How's it going with you? Hi, Not your Dragon. painting, just life, I suppose. That's why I have this uh, this fear in my chest because uh, Eric bought that giant fucking Age of Sigmar box. That's gonna be a lot of painting. It's Which gonna one? Be a lot of painting. This one. Oh, it's a... two full armies. Wow. Yeah. You're gonna have to teach Julie and just like put her into like slave, slave. labor. Yep. <laughs> Gross. Green. Hulk. It's like dead Hulk right now. I think, there is, I think that's canon. I think that is. Is it? Yeah, that there's exists. probably a dead Hulk. There's definitely a dead Hulk. Zombie Hulk. Oh, sorry. You got too close to camera. Just like kiss it. That was him, not me, just so everybody knows. Right. Sure, sure, sure. Yeah. I made the noise, but that's because he can't. Right, right, right. Mm -hmm. I meant you kiss the camera, but like, oh no, what else? Yeah, skeletons are stupid easy to paint. <laughs> yes, yes they are. Which one's this one? Muddy bone. There you go. Skeleton. Sweet. Muddy bone. That's me. Done. Tanned leather. Also good for that. Ooh, actually, I'm gonna use some tanned leather. He's gonna have leather armor.
Where did... Where did... Oh, it's right there. Phew. Looking good, big guy. Thanks, Justin. Just... <laughs> oh, he's talking to me, guys. <laughs> using Reaper paints? Mike and Caitlin are using Reaper paints. I'm using Vallejo. Yeah, Dragon, we were just talking about it. Probably six years ago, Mike backed the first Reaper Bones miniatures, and we've got like hundreds of miniatures left so we're putting them to good use today okay where is are you skin ish there's in his crotch <laughs> bastard it doesn't wash after being mold released <sighs> oh, i have brush on sealer sure Bone might be a good skin color. If you're buying good skin color, let me know because I need it after this. Cool. I think I've got I've got like a a graveyard bone here that's kind of cool, like a cool peachy. It's probably good. Vampiric skin is probably not quite what I want. Oh, I could use that. Yeah, you want vampiric skin? Yeah, I'll do it on the cultists. They'll be white. Brains pink. Uh, yellowed bone. Put that out for the skeletons. Cool. I think. Oh, tan skin. Hmm. Yeah. Reapers are great. These are fabulous. And the fact that the like the bones ones are plastic, they they tend to bend a little, but they're really nice for being like three dollars instead of like fifteen. That was the whole point why they started the Kickstarter ones. Yeah. Just to get uh, printing minis faster. Faster and bigger and, and cheaper. Cheaper. Yeah. A little plugged. A little plugged. There it is. Just gotta get his little crotch right here. Just gonna let the uh, let him dry for a bit. His gross ass yellow skin is a bit still still wet. Still damp. All right, can you come off without me ruining your paint? Thank you, sir. All right, how are these rats doing? Oh, they looking good. They looking good. They're looking good. Time to do a wash. Yeah, wash those rats. Wash sepia. So what are you thinking for a character, Mike? I don't know yet. Oh. I was thinking of a monk. Still might do that. Still might do that. I have a, I have to look at wizard versus warlock versus witch. I want to be a spellcaster. It'll be Have especially you easy at... with this new thing that we're going to be trying out, so yeah. that's good. Yes. We've got plans to sort of... It's a nice looking rat thing. Yeah, like he's really gross. He has a lot of pustules on the back. Dumb it down a bit. So here's, here's the weird thing. I originally thought I wanted to do a wizard. Yep. 
And I have not looked at Pathfinder Wizard yet. Yeah. Um, but 5th Edition Wizard is, like, kind of obnoxious in the, oh, anything you want to cast and anything you want to learn and anything you want to prepare costs so much in resources. Yeah, yep. that's, that's the sort of balance that they had for it. It's like you need all this paper and ink and yada, yada, yada. I mean, in like 3.5 and Pathfinder, they've, they, they're, some of that is there too. Yeah. It's just there's a lot of people that house rule it out. Yeah. Well, and, and like Justin house ruled out the whole me needing to constantly purchase crossbow bolts for Neath. And just was like, so long as they're regular ones, just assume you have them. Because that would have been fucking obnoxious to be like, we're in the middle of the desert. How do how do I get How do I get more bolts? crossbow? You don't. <laughs> no. Okay. Cool. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go die over in this corner. Sweet. Yeah. Well, I mean, in that in that retrospect, like if you were doing the buying thing, it would be, hey, you found a chest buried in the sand, or you know, it's so. got paper and ink in it. Yeah. Oh no, I meant crossbow. Cross oh bolts yeah. Much I think much more things that you would find than. <laughs> I don't know, you can find, like, nice parchment, and especially in, like, M Mummy's Mask, where we had, like, we were in all kinds of tombs, tombs and yeah. stuff. Yeah, you can find paper and parchment. just gave me the inspire other travelers add your photos to google maps and it's the picture i took of the dog skull laying in the <laughs> amazing that's amazing <laughs> look at this <laughs> <laughs> that's the greatest thing i've seen in a long time there we go i guess brain shot because that's funny so, Kaylin, okay, I'll kind of show you how things are going to be done Yeah. for this next one, because it's a bit weird. It's a bit weird. So, instead of having, like, um, oh, damn it. to make it so that you guys, it's just about playing, so yeah. instead of having, like, items that you need to worry about leveling up, like, they're not leveling up, yeah. buy new items, and then you get items that you'll never use because you already have your sick-ass sword, is it's gonna be now, your, all your items are gonna have abilities that you can unlock as we play. Oh, sweet. So like, instead of having just a plus one sword, your sword will do special things, and if you find another item you like, you'll be like, no, okay, I'm gonna start upgrading this one instead. So hopefully there's more of a sense of growth and upgrading without us actually having to stop at shops all the time. Awesome. And do the horrible thing of being like, okay, what can I afford? Yeah. I'm actually pretty great. much getting rid of gold for the sake of buying things. Like right. you guys will get gold to live. And, like, if you go to the store and you want something, like... But, like... But, like, a store isn't going to have a magic item that sweet. you need because the game is... Because I was going to say... Towards you. Good merchants are one of, like, my new favorite things since watching good DMs. Like, really seasoned people play. Yeah. Having, like, good, fun merchants is just incredible. Imperial purple. Sorry, dear. Is there anything I can base brown while we're doing this? Oh, this cool. The guy looks like he's sitting next to a tree stump, so let's do that. Yeah, yeah, Matthew Mercer especially. The fact that the miniature set they're coming out with has literally one of his merchants as one of the miniatures is incredible.
How's Julie feeling now that she's she's done for the summer? Um, I don't think she knows how to relax yet. Sweet. Because all she's done is clean the house. She's slept. Oh, Ash and Fang, 13 months of the golden Ash. table. Says I'm not here, but thank you anyway. You rule. Yeah, she's cleaned the house twice. Clean the floor. She swept and mopped the floors twice so far. <laughs> Hilarious. And I'm like, Julie, you gotta learn to just... Sit. Yeah, just get a hobby. Which yeah. she actually does, cause she's a writer. She writes. Then she needs to spend... You gotta get her like a... Nice notebook or something. And be like, hey dear, I love you. Chill the fuck out. Yeah. And I feel especially bad because I can I can keep busy doing, I have so many things that can keep me busy, as you guys can tell because I've been uh -huh. unemployed for three years. <laughs> I don't get bored. I am very easily bored. I went to work for four hours today and got about to like 2.30 and went, I need to go. I suppose I should put an addendum. I can get bored. I got bored at work a lot. <laughs> work was boring. It's not that you don't get bored. It's that you easily entertain yourself. When I have a lot of hobbies, essentially. Yeah. Like a lot of fucking hobbies. I have a lot of fucking hobbies because I get easily bored. Makes sense. Like. Maybe it's the same for me, but I just don't know it. Because I'm like, yeah, no more video games. Let's go. Uh, now I have painting minis as a hobby. How's your cultist coming, Mike? I'm good, I think. So this, uh, this paint job is, is, is very thematic for the conversation you and I had, Justin. About yep. characters. She's purple. Nice. Alright. Get out of here, you stupid fucking rat. Okay, what the fuck is that? Is it supposed to be hair? I think it might be hair. Let's bring back Mr. Hulk boy. How you doing? You still wet, though? Yeah, you still fucking wet. That's okay, we'll just force it. Oh, we're recording 38 minutes. 38 minutes. Thirty-eight. Thirty-eight? Thirty-eight. Yeah. If you were wondering how long you've been watching, it's been thirty-eight. Think of all that excess paint. Who's texting me? Is that Just, it just came out of its little Amazing. thing. But like in the middle of a stroke, so. Kind of like it was there and then it was gone. Clearly Reaper is from Texas. Hmm? Yep, it is. They've got the little Texas, Texas logo. Oh yeah, 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 they're from Texas. Here, Chad, join me as I paint this guy's gooch. <laughs> Let's look at this man in angles that he can't even see. Do you ever, are you ever like sitting in your house and you just think, man, if there was something wrong with my anus, I'd have no idea. <laughs> I can't say that's ever a thought. Because <laughs> I mean, like, I don't look at my anus. Ever. I've never seen my anus. Yeah, but like you'd think you'd be able to feel that shit. Like, yeah, that's very true. It's, it's a very, very sensitive, sensitive area. <laughs> Good job, Justin. You fucked up. You painted his skin brown. Just the worst. How's my silver doing? 
Is my silver here? No, it's solid. I think there's a silver reaper somewhere. There is a silver reaper somewhere. Silver reaper sounds like a cool marble villain. Mm -mm. I've got a honed steel right here. That's kind of silvery. Sure. Yep, that's fine. Yep, that does the job. Is Eye Dragon from Texas? I think so. I think that's the implication. That's what are you saying? I think those are the words that are happening. Those are the words that are coming out of my mouth. Mm -hmm. The weird angles. Oh, buddy, got your leg. I apologize. Man, it's just taking forever to dry. Rats are looking good. Oh, knocked him over. Sorry, buddy. Now he's not looking good. <laughs> Roll him around on the Yeah, with towel. some touch ups, that'll be great. Just get some of this extra fucking wash off your tail. Some people are just obnoxious at this. Yeah, what? Painting minis. Like obnoxiously good? Mm hmm. Oh, yeah. Mm hmm. Yes, yes, yes. Mm, kettle corn has me. Mm -hmm. All right. oh, no! There we go. This all needs to be brown. What do you do? Muddy brown. What do I want? Lone Star Leather. Hmm. I don't know where those two. <sighs> Alrighty. Reaper started in a fourth worth, then moved to Louisville. Sweet. I wonder if Lewis is from there. He might be. Whoa, calm down, paint. That's pretty as Louisville, isn't it? It might be, I have no idea. I wonder if Louis from there. <laughs> nah, Louis from St. Louis. He's like the Joker. Look at that face. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. He's the Joker. Nice. Alright, buddy, I'm gonna try to paint your toenails, and I'm very bad at painting, like, Julie's toenails, so let's hope this goes you better. You tried painting Julie's toenails? Oh, yeah. She asked. I said, sure, why not? Alright, that's a good idea, Justin. Start with the biggest one. Because it's definitely gonna get easier from there. Looking good. They just pop a little bit, not too much. Okay, he needs to try a little bit. I'll come back to him. Alright, so there's no toenail on this last coat. I'm just gonna draw a little shoop on it. There we go. You can see his toes. You can see his toenails. Here. Let me just focus even more. Yeah, you can see his toenails. <laughs> um, I'm not sure the pronunciation, but Louisville. Ah, Louisville, Kentucky. 
So maybe it is Louisville. Excuse me, sir. Just, uh, just coming in to do those toenails. Don't oh, fuck, mind he has fingernails me. too. Uh, that checks out. Checks out, checks out, checks out. Hmm, looks like one of his toes is just fucking crushed. We have some kind of thing on Moxie, but I can't see what it is. Huh? Is it just an auto host? Oh, I was a host. Yeah, an auto host. Man, he has one nice foot and one fucking ugly foot. Like, look at this. Look at his, this foot, and then look at that foot. It's like just, it's like it's been smushed. Well, you don't know what he's been through. Yeah. I mean, I've painted his gooch. I think I know quite a bit what he's been through. <laughs> when you paint a man's gooch, you're good friends after. I don't know. There's a lot of, like, not so much painting, but I, I imagine there's a bunch of, um estheticians that have, have waxed a lot of things that know nothing about the people that they've waxed. So, you know. Remember I had an existential crisis when I found out when girls go for Brazilians, they have to get <laughs> on all fours. <laughs> and I was like, that seems like the worst fucking thing in the world for everybody. The person on all fours, the person who has to see <laughs> on all fours. You know what? Like, uh, I've never waxed any of those things it seems awful I think I ever would. yeah it seems awful yeah and then you're just like itchy when the hair grows back yeah. and it's just it's not a good time yeah i tried waxing my legs as like a like a teenager and it was just it sucked my mother once waxed her armpit and uh you're supposed to put baby powder down before the wax when you do your armpits so that you don't rip all your skin off. Yeah. And she didn't. Oh no. So she spent our entire summer vacation walking around like this. Oh no. She had giant scabs in her armpit. That sounds like fucking hell. Yeah. What's up, Mike? Nothing. Oh. Just breathing. I hold my breath. Oh, when you're pain? Yeah. Makes sense. So then when I, when I take a break, I breathe. Heavier. Man, you didn't breathe for that whole mini? <laughs> yeah. Just this cape. So Steph got a hold of me today. Mm -hmm. And uh, asked me what shop Brianna owns. Because apparently her little brother went to go get a tattoo. He had called in advance. And uh, they had told him, oh, you don't need an appointment for that. Just walk in. That's fine. And he walked in and they told him uh, they wouldn't do what he wanted. And, uh, so Steph call, uh, sent me a text. She's like, what's your sister's shop? And I guess she went in and he got his tattoo today. Oh, cool. At Brianna's shop. So. How's it going, Tiger Planet? Tiger Planet! What up, man? So just, because Tiger Planet, you were one of the people who was very kind enough when we were playing Mummy's Mask to donate money for a chat item, which was very kind of you. And I'll have you know, I'm actually revisiting a lot of items that were donated by chat that were not used. And I'm kind of reimagining them for our next playthrough. So your really cool stick uh, wand that no one actually used the second feature for is going to appear in Strange Aeons. We and, had a stick wand? Yeah, and you guys would have loved what it did, but no one used it. Actually, you know what happened is I think Phaedra got it. Oh. And then she got consumed by the desert. Right. Consume. That whole thing. The desert phage. This will be called the Usulov phage now. No, it still should be the desert phage. Okay. I'm so excited to get back into a campaign. Yeah, me too. I miss it. It's like I've got the itch. One thing we're hoping to do, Mike and I were talking about, is instead of having to just be like part one, part two, part three, yada yada, there's going to be episodes instead. 
So it'll be like episode of episode one is called Escaping Insanity. And then it'll go from there. Sweet. Yeah, and then also It'll be well, it'll be like campaign one. Or what do we just say? Like it, season basically like season one. It's well, no, be, I think I think what I'm doing is I'm doing episode one, part one, mm. right? Yeah. And then, yeah, because it is kind of weird, right? Like, no matter what, because they're going to be short. Like, I'm hoping part one is, like, five episodes, yeah. right? Or, or episode one is five episodes. We'll get the nomenclature down when we actually have to name it all. Yeah. But the coolest thing um, is, yeah, I felt bad that your guys' items weren't used. So that's why I'm bringing them back. I mean, it makes sense. Pathfinder is a very hard thing to be fun in if it's so rules heavy. So that's why I'm ripping the rules out. We're ripping them out. But, um, We're ripping the hinges off. Pathfinder the... light. Exactly. I was going to say something, but I completely forgot what it was. Sweet. Uh, the, uh... Oh, yeah, the roll table. The roll the table. The chaos table. The chaos oh, yes. table. We're doing a... Um, Instead of doing donations for like things players choose, instead now everything you guys donate will be by bit levels oh, of 25, this. 50, 100, 200, and 500. And they all unlock various things to both help oh. and hinder the players. Oh, fuck. I'm going to be messaging to Spamonite for ideas for <sighs> those. Be like, hey man, you have too much stuff for us to even think about. That's why I, I took his, um, uh, the one part of the effect of the potion that he gave you guys that I really loved, which switched your guys' items right before you guys went through different rooms. Oh, that we finally got to do at the end there. Yep, in the part where Chief lost his sword before a big fight. Hilarious. That was the, the best thing that happened in the game. Was campaign. that what that was? Yeah. yeah. I thought that was part of the actual, like... No, that was the potion no, I that drank. That was the potion I drank. Fuck, that was so funny. Yeah, it was. It's a good thing you guys like were just racing. I did make it a bit easier on them. <laughs> because they didn't have their fighter with anything. Well, useful. also, what really happened was I, I learned that I did not enjoy some of the things in Pathfinder, like how the rules worked for combat. Right. So in our final session, I was like, "Fuck it, let's take a lot of that out." Your very final session with like the cool like dream shit, Justin. Which one was that? Uh, where Chief was just like. Bumping into everybody's dreams with the witches. Oh, yeah, that was pretty fucking sick, wasn't Fuck, that? Fuck, that was awesome. Yeah, that was kind of cool. That was way cooler than it sounds like it should have been. In the book, it was a, it was a combat. Yeah. No, that's way cooler. Yeah, that turned out to be pretty fucking sick. It was so exciting. What was I doing at that time? Was I chatting with Dagon? I think I might have been chatting Maybe. with Dragon. I think I was barefoot in a pool chatting with Dagon. I think so. Yeah. You, you weren't in the hell that was the dream world. No. I'm still bummed Eric missed the final session. Fuck me too. Well, now he's going to miss like the majority of Strange Aeons, so. That's sad. It is. Um, I would love to, if you're into it, I would love to do like a one-off of just Neith floating around in the <laughs> the ether of whatever you think should be happening. Yeah, that'd be cool. In my floating between worlds. That'd be fun. I know um, Neith will have some sort of cameo or something. <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> Ugh, these guys are gross. <sighs> well, he's got him, like, little, like, pussy crap on him. Yeah. I like it. What's Deadlands, High Dragon? Paintbrushes are getting old and the tips of them are starting to do that thing where they curl. Mm -hmm. 
That one's one of mine, isn't it? No, these these little red ones are the ones that you and I went to Michael's and you went, hey, if we're going to paint miniatures, you uh -huh. should buy these ones. And then Mike taught me how to paint minis. Cute though. Oh, God, this guy's gross. You need to be all right there? Yeah, but look at him. He's like, bleh. Blake? Oh, I thought you're still doing the other guy. Nah, he's drying right now. He's gonna get. He's getting a wash soon. Mm. And he's pretty dirty. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty heavy D and D on a uh, roll twenty. Is roll twenty a channel? No, it's a. It's like a multiplayer software. Oh. So people who play long distance. It's very good, actually. It was very good. We had a subscription for a little bit, didn't we? We did. We actually also, that's where we did some of the, man, I was just thinking today, the evolution of Mummy's Mask. Oh, yeah. Oh, was that the thing we had with those, like, the maps for yes. a while? Yeah. Yeah. That was cool in theory. Yeah. It didn't work out super well for us. That was kind of the start, starting summary of the entirety of the Mummy's Mask. Cool in theory, but didn't work. That's why I bought this new board. It's green on one side, gray on the other. Oh, awesome. It'll read a lot better on camera than the gross brown one we had. Yeah. Um, no, we're just doing maps for like combat and stuff, right? Yeah. Yes. And any important moments, if I want to make you guys feel like combat might happen. Cool. Any spaces where we need to know, like, where we are. Yeah. It'll be very helpful as well just to have, like, have that as a reference. Mm -hmm. Who's this guy, Mike? Another cultist. Nice. Slash maybe possibly a rogue. Whoever wants, if someone wants to use him. That seems to be your theme for this evening. Well, Could the be a cultist. cultist. Could be a rogue. The, the cultists and the rogues look very similar. I think Mike's just cultist rogue racist mm -hmm. <laughs> hey i take offense to that you once were a rogue <laughs> it was you know who else i'd love to get a chance to play again fucking bellini was so much fun was that the eric one yeah that was the vampire that was my uh my halfling ranger with a badger named mushroom yeah, I remember that. Oh, one thing I'm going to be doing for um, the Mummies, uh, not Mummies Mask, for Strange Aeons, for yeah. the YouTube videos, I'm going to do a previously on. Mm. Sweet. Whenever a new episode starts. On the YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. Previously on Strange Aeons. Let's see if we can't get some people cutting in half halfway instead of going, well, I don't know what's going on. Yeah. Yeah. Albeit, I do always enjoy that we have over 200 Mummy's Mask episodes. <laughs> yeah. It's a fun little feat for our channel. Yeah. We never did go through them and make like a... Super cut? Super cut. Still thinking about it. I mean, now that we have a video editing software, it's really good. The only problem is the amount of work. It has to get put into it. Yeah. It's going to be a lot of videos to watch. And download. I mean, we could also... And edit. No, that'd, and edit. that'd be almost more work. I was going to say, we could just talk to each character and be like, what are super important parts to you? Yeah, like, I, I there's a lot of moments I, I know I already want. It's more so the fact of... Um, when did they happen? When did they happen? Yeah. Finding them. Because I was going to say, Neith getting bitten in half by a um, centipede. Uh, and then Evil Kyle. Yeah, what about when her hair... Didn't Evil Kyle appear at the end right after Hackatap? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that was something yeah. I planned very early on. And I one-shotted him because he was, what, level two? One? Yeah, he didn't change at all. He said he practiced, but he really didn't. Yeah. He was like a CR. Two encounter. Yeah. I will say going through the um, Strange Aeons already looks a hundred times harder. Well, you know. It makes sense. Given the subject matter. Man, these rats look fucking great. Yeah, yeah. With that gross... Little pussy bits. Yeah, and I love when the detail kind of comes in slowly but surely. Mm -hmm. Like I'm going to put their fucking teeth on. Put their fucking teeth on. Hey. I like being when players roll knowledge history at the start of each session. It's a roll for recollection. Then tell us what happened last time. That's really cool. 
I also have a new way of exciting way of doing initiative that's gonna be a bit cool. Oh yeah? Yeah. I mean like we're still gonna roll for initiative, but like it's gonna change each combat and to keep it easy, you guys are gonna have all poker chips with numbers on them. Yeah. So then it's easy for the monsters too. Basically, I'm having to help and to have no computer for myself. That's awesome. I think it's nice to not be. Then also what makes it so, what makes it, it makes us more presentable. Yeah. And it also allows us to, when something comes up that we don't know the answer to, we can just be like, oh, fuck it. Right? Yeah. Just fill it in. Think of how we think it's going to go. Yeah. Pay, pay more mind on the, the role playing rather than the the rules so long as you're consistent with your choice on rules then who gives a shit yeah do you have black yeah um use this black because oh. it's cheaper even more so and we have lots of i might it. use those for my bases if i get any of those guys ready for base painting today because yeah. the bait painting the the black for bell halos is oh my god maybe we can actually speak english the back the black i'm already fucking up the black paint for Valhalo, you know what I'm saying, is mm -hmm. awful. It's like inky. Oh, you just got black ink then? There's, no, there's I, I have ink like, and black. Is it like oh. a wash maybe? No. Or is it just it's just Black ink black. would be the wash. Yeah. No, actually black ink isn't a wash, and I found that out when I almost fucked That's... up my first minis. Because there's black there's ink. ink. So I have black ink. Which should be the wash. Nope, there is a black wash. What's the ink? Ink is, uh, it's, it's heavier. Oh, but it's still so liquidy. It, it's, it's made for not going into recesses. It's for at the start. So, like, for example, these guys were done with a sepia, and it goes really dark. Oh. And it, it covers the colors. Mm -hmm. It, like, just removes it. Um, or, or, this one's also really nice for, it's a, it's a mud wash. I hear, um, the Citadel washes are very good. Yes. Um, we're gonna actually stop recording. Sure. For, oh, sorry. Let me just, uh, we're gonna See keep you, going. YouTube. The next installment of 